Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. In 1846, Montroville Dickinson, a pioneer of modern archaeology, exhibited a collection of specimens of mastodon and mylodon, or sloth, fossil bones that he had found at the base of a bayou cut through the bluffs near Natchez. He had brought them to the Academy of Natural Sciences of Philadelphia, where he later donated them. Included among the specimens was a fragment of a human pelvis, estimated to be from a young man of about 16 years of age, which became known as the Natchez Man. For over 144 years, controversy and speculation swirled around the dark brown fragment as to its possible antiquity. Could this be a representative of the early Paleo-Indians in North America? Dickinson stated that the pelvis had been found below the other bones and argued, therefore, that this fact indicated that the human remains were older than the animal remains. This assertion aroused the attention of naturalists because it pointed to an earlier existence of man than had been previously been believed. Upon hearing the news, Sir Charles Lyell visited the site where the bones had been excavated. Lyle noticed a group of Indian graves atop a neighboring bluff and speculated that the pelvis had fallen and become mingled with the older fossils. Nevertheless, over the years, numerous tests were made on the pelvis, reaching differing conclusions. Finally, in 1990, the fossilized pelvis underwent radioisotope analysis, proving Sir Charles was correct. It was indeed from an Indian grave. It seems that the Natchez man and the sloth never met. This has been your Natchez History Minute. I'm Mary Lou Reidinger. I'm an archaeologist who divides my time between Natchez, Mississippi and Antigua, Guatemala.